Hey Carla, on today's quarantine cuisine I'm doing guacamole. Um, avocados, tomatoes, onions, a little bit of um, jalapeno pepper, some onions, um, garlic and some spices. Uh, fairly simple to do. Uh, preparation time might be a little tedious, but uh, it's worth it. So we're going to get started on this right now. So to get started with the guacamole, obviously we need some avocados. So I'm going to use four uh, ripe avocados. I'm going to need a little bit of parsley. That's up to you. Normally it would call for cilantro. I don't like cilantro, so I'm not using it. <clears throat> I'm going to use parsley instead. One small jalapeno pepper that's going to be seeded and diced very, very finely. We're going to need the juice from some limes. We need some garlic, diced onion, a couple of Roma tomatoes that have been seeded and diced up. And then for the spicy part, we're going to need a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of cumin, and some kosher salt. And that's it. So we're going to get started. First thing you have to do is uh, <clears throat> make some lime juice before I even cut into the avocado. So let me go ahead and do that first. And then we'll move on to the avocado portion. Okay, so you need the lime juice to keep the avocados from kind of turning dark on you. So we'll start with one and see how we go there. Might take two. I don't know. One might do. Do the other half. Alright, there we go. So there's my lime juice. So now we're going to move on and we're going to start with the avocado. Just going to slice them, um, cut them up, mash. I'm going to mash three of them and I'm going to leave one of them chunky just so I get some different textures in there. So we'll do that next. Okay, I went ahead and diced up my onion just to get that out of the way. Um, I think we'll go ahead and cut up everything else and then we'll do the avocados last. So the next thing I need to do, I need to get a little bit of parsley, basically a tablespoon of parsley or cilantro if that's what you're using. Um, again, just very, very finely cut up. Into small bits and pieces. Again, if you like cilantro, use that. That's fine. I just can't stand the taste of cilantro. I'm one of those people that cilantro to me tastes like soap. So I cannot stand the taste of it. And from what I understand, that is a genetic trait, by the way. So I'm not weird. I inherited that. Um, that weirdness, I guess. So just a little bit of the parsley. So about a tablespoon should do. Then after we do that, we're going to do the jalapeno, which we only need half the jalapeno, so you really don't need to go buy a big one. The small one will work just fine. We're just putting a little bit in there. Uh, if you don't like the heat, you can leave the jalapeno out of it. It'll be just fine. Alright, 
probably about a tablespoon right there. So, put that over there and move on to the jalapeno. This is where you got to be careful because you can hurt yourself with the jalapeno. Basically, you're going to remove that. You're going to take half of it. We're going to seed it. We're going to get all the seeds out of it. And then we're going to mince it up fairly finely. The seeds are where like all the heat is concentrated. So we need to get those out. So just use my knife. Trying to get rid of that core part right there. Such. Okay. And then we're just going to mince it up really, really fine to tiny little pieces. thought this was going to be a recipe that Joseph would eat because I know he likes avocados and I asked him tonight like I've sworn I've seen him at guacamole before but we had the guacamole discussion the other night and he said no he will not eat it he'll eat just the plain avocados so all this is mine okay So now that I've handled the hot jalapeno, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands. All right, hands are washed. Time to move on to the tomatoes. You need a couple of Roma tomatoes. <clears throat> These are the best. These are actually my favorite tomatoes to work with when cooking and things like that because they're very meaty. Your common garden variety of tomato is way too juicy, basically. Um, so Roma tomatoes are really the best. If you can't find Roma tomatoes, then... I don't know, I guess you can improvise with regular tomatoes, but these are nice and meaty. So what I want to do is I need to seed these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, now I've got the top off it, I'm going to squeeze it. Basically squeeze the seeds out of it, and then we can mince it up. So, let's see if this works. such. So repeat that with the other one and then we'll mince these up and then we'll start assembling. And cut the top off. squeeze and again nice and empty on the inside so you see all the juice and seeds that came out of that and if you put this in there like that your guacamole will come out really really soupy so 
that's what we're trying to avoid. All right, so now I'm just going to mince these up, and then we'll add our garlic, and then we'll start with everything else. Okay, almost done with the tomato, <clears throat> and what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the core, the knife, carefully so I don't injure myself, hopefully. like that and then just cutting the tomato into strips and then dicing from there so it's fairly simple I'm noticing my dog is not over here supervising today she's taking the afternoon off or something maybe she doesn't like guacamole Maybe she's tired of me being home. I don't know. Maybe she's going to start social distancing herself away from me. Maybe that's the trick. All right. Here's the last of the tomato. That's two Roman tomatoes. And then we got the parsley, the jalapeno, the onion. Um, I need to mince up my garlic real quick. Recipe calls for one large clove of garlic. My garlic cloves are a little bit on the small side, so I'm using two plus. I like garlic anyway, so all the better. I'm just gonna put them in the garlic press and do them that way. large clove or two smaller cloves of garlic. Get all the last bit of goodness out of that. All right, let me move on to the avocados. So I'm using kind of a big bowl here, but this will work just fine. The bowl's probably overkill. Um, using my big knife. Straight down the center and around. So, let's stick that right there. Over the seed. And six spoon. And scoop out the pulp, basically. And these don't have to be neat because all this is going to get mashed up anyway. So neatness does not count here. the goody out of the middle. And then repeat that with two more of the avocados. We're going to mash those and then we're going to save one avocado to chunk up into bits and pieces. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to add some of my lime juice in here to keep them from turning brown. Um, save a little for taste. So we'll do that and then we'll be back. Okay, so that's three avocados now in there. I've got my fourth one cut and I'm going to chunk that one up. But we're just going to go ahead and mash these, basically, so that they get nice and creamy. I'm 
Although I do like mine a little chunky anyway, so. Pretty much like that. That will work. And we're going to add in the parsley jalapenos ah. and the tomatoes the garlic the onion And then we're going to give this a good stir. We're not going to mash this. We're just going to stir it really well. I also need to add in my seasonings. So I need a quarter teaspoon of the cayenne. So not much of that. A half teaspoon of the cumin. teaspoon of the kosher salt I add a little bit more of this lime juice in here okay we're gonna give this a stir that for seasoning. Yeah, that's plenty of salt. Okay. Take my last avocado and I'm just gonna put it into chunks. So basically I'm just slicing it while it's still in the skin. And I'm using a butter knife so I don't go <coughs> cutting through the skin into my hand when I do this. Because you know how accident prone I am anyway. And basically you can just turn it out get most of that out of there so then we get some good chunks in there and then do the last one dog is looking at me like she thinks she's going to get some of this, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think dogs eat avocado. I don't think they're allowed. You can have some corn chips, though. I know you'll eat those. There we go. 
Now we're going to give this a good stir. And then, very important step next is We need to cover this with some plastic wrap, saran wrap, cling film, whatever you want to call it. So that the cling film is actually touching the guacamole itself. To keep it from turning brown. And then it's going to sit for a couple of hours. And then it'll be ready to eat. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. You see I had the... Um, saran wrap pressed right down against the guacamole but it's been a couple of hours now so we're ready to eat so scoop some into the bowl got my chips and my guacamole and we're ready to eat so we'll see you next time